From being a reaction streamer to getting deplatformed and cancelled, this is how Asmongold got banned on Twitch with just one clip. On October 14, 2024, Drama Alert posted a clip of Asmongold talking about the Palestine-Israel war, where he made deeply controversial remarks, stating that Palestinians are inferior and terrible people, harboring built-in hatred and genocidal thinking as part of their religion and Sharia law. He went on to say that the war in Israel is essentially genocide versus genocide, implying that if Palestinians had superior weapons, they would likely commit mass genocide in Israel too. They have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a f***ing river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a f They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Hmm. How much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. This statement shocked many, especially since it seemed out of line with Asmongold's past behavior. Just a year earlier, he posted on his Twitter account, Weird as f to see so many people coming out with statements about the Israel-Palestine conflict as if they need to comment on it. Can we please stop this weird culture around expecting people with no relevant background or education to talk about world events slash politics? This tweet had originally gained him some respect as it suggested he recognized the importance of staying in one's lane, especially when it comes to complex issues. His latest comments, however, struck a completely different note. The internet quickly erupted and things only spiraled downward for Asmongold. The problem with his statement was multi-layered. First, he was commenting on a highly sensitive and deeply divisive topic, something bound to attract controversy regardless of his stance. But even more problematic was the way he generalized and labeled all Palestinians, not just specific groups like Hamas, as inherently hateful and genocidal. For many, this crossed the line into racism, as it painted an entire people and religion with the same brush. People pointed out that wars by nature Nature, impact civilians who often have no part in the fighting. Many question how someone who claims to be well informed could overlook this nuance. The backlash was swift and intense with comments like, what a f idiot. Did this guy just call an entire ethnic group inferior to his? Is that not ban worthy? This is his room by the way. Even major creators weighed in. Fauzi, a kick streamer posted, you support genocide, no way around that argument. In my opinion, the take is so bad, he should be punished. But he won't, because he's the part of the protected fairies on the internet. Free Palestine till it's backwards. With mounting pressure, on October 15th, Asmongold issued an apology, acknowledging that his comments were out of line and that his viewers deserved more than reckless statements. He posted on Twitter, Looking back on it, I was way too much of an about the Palestine thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid like that. I'll do better. However, many felt the apology wasn't enough. People were quick to point out the hypocrisy in his action just a year earlier. He'd advocated for staying silent on political matters, yet now he was making incendiary statements about one of the most volatile conflicts in the world. Some of the comments read, You just violated your golden rule of never apologizing. It would be interesting to hear why you made an exception in your next YouTube video. You should have taken your own advice. Your ego is so big that you put your own company at risk, which is extremely selfish. No, say I'm sorry, not my bad. About the Palestine thing. You mean justifying genocide? Rot in hell. To make matters worse, Asmogold's PC company Start4 Systems began to feel the heat. One of their partners publicly ended their relationship, tweeting, I am no longer partnered with Start4 Systems PC. I have requested my code be removed from usage after a year of partnership due to the comments made by Asmogold, one of the owners. I have Muslim friends from that region, and I cannot represent that product after his comment. This was a turning point. What started as a streamer's offhand remarks was now impacting his business. 
Madness. Other streamers and creators joined in, calling for his deplatforming. Sneeko, for instance, posted, If he said the same about the other side, his bank account would be locked. Retired American ignorance on full display. Eventually, Twitch took action, suspending Asmongold from the platform not permanently, but for 14 days. On October 16th, Asmongold posted a YouTube video titled, my plans moving forward. In the video, he acknowledged his mistakes and explained the reasoning behind his comments, describing his words as disgusting. I, I said something about it that was disgusting. I said that I didn't care about innocent people getting killed by another force, by anything. And I think that that's a horrible disgusting, mean-spirited thing to say. Asmongold went on to clarify that while he opposes religious extremism, he had failed by lumping all Palestinians together. A lot of us here can easily say that we're against religious extremism, and I am. But whenever I categorize everybody in the area as this, like, group, uh, then I'm the asshole. And I was the asshole. I had a lot of you guys tell me that. He admitted that his life had been going downhill for the past two years, and this controversy served as a massive wake-up call for him. I think this has been going on now for like two years. I think that I've been slowly devolving into the most mean-spirited, uh, just uh, m like, like I, I don't really even know what the word is for it. Uh, just like the most mean-spirited, rude, like nasty, uh, like just callous, uh, psychopathic version of myself. I, I think that I've been devolving into this. And a lot of my friends have told me this. My dad has told me this. He said, you've got to chill out. You've got to calm down. I've been like, oh, he, he's, that old man doesn't know what he's talking about. And I've finally had some level of accountability for that. And thank God. Asmongold also shared that Islamic viewers, including those with family in Palestine, had reached out to him personally, helping him understand the gravity of his remarks. Do you know who reached out to me? And uh, they uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay. It's people that were Islamic and people that were had fucking family in Palestine. And I, how humiliating is that? How absolutely humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were, were bad. He reiterated that his intention was to criticize extremism, not the religion or people as a whole, but he recognized that he had communicated it poorly. I, I think that it's extremely fair to criticize uh, religious extremism, and I think that it's extremely unfair to categorize everybody in part of that group as religious extremists. I think it is, and I'm, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, Calling the ban a much-needed reality check Asmongold promised to grow from the experience. He even joked about finally cleaning up his famously messy house. Despite the apology, many still debated whether it was enough. Asmongold himself admitted that the ban felt like an opportunity to reflect and move forward in a healthier direction. So, what do you think? Did Asmongold deserve the backlash and ban? Or should people be more forgiving given his attempts to make amends? Let me know in the comments.